A private partnership is to create a public benefit by increasing energy supply using the cleanest fossil fuel. They provide natural gas. One, a bow was cut after a ceremony signaling the launch of the 40 megawatt liquefied natural gas fuel terminal project at Crabs Peninsula on Tuesday. It's a partnership between Antigua Power Company Limited and U.S. based company Eagle LNG Partners. This comes as the Antigua Public Utilities Authority seeks to increase the country's energy supply. Sometime in 2018, during our monthly management team strategic deliberations, Mr. Andrew Mathias, our electricity business unit manager, rationalized the need for increased generation capacity. However, the project needed to be in line with the national push to reduce carbon emissions. Through the tenders board, the Antigua Power Company Limited was awarded the task of providing the energy to APUA. APC then brought Eagle on board after being introduced through the U.S. Embassy for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean. What is unique about Eagle is that they actually control the entire logistics chain. So we are buying natural gas in the United States off the pipeline. We are turning it into LNG, which is a fairly complex um, process. Then we have to transport it in very specialized ships and bring it to the terminal here. APC's general manager says the partnership will have major economic benefits. The total value of this project, the power plant and the terminal, is going to be in excess of 270 million EC dollars. It's going to create jobs, you know, all the workers, at least 97% will be local Antiguans. It's going to bring new money. This is new money to the economy. It will also be good for the environment. We will reduce carbon footprint by about 40% at least. And this is what Minister for Public Utilities, Sir Robin Yearwood, says is the initial cost to the government. Nothing. But we are going to pay it back with the purchase of electricity and so we will own it between 12 to 15 years. He says it will follow a trend. We have taken over the first set of engines that APC had bought in, they are owned by us now. The second set, a few more years, they come to us. Work on the project is expected to be completed by the end of 2022. Jessica Russell, ABS News.